Uh, hey guys, we're back with another bike trailer video. So I wanted to try to turn this uh, three-wheel jogger into a bike trailer. And uh, I noticed there's a guy on the on the YouTube, his channel's called Cargo Bike Life, I believe it is. So he's already built uh, a three-wheel trailer using uh, uh, like a kid's BMX bike. So the front fork, and uh, he's attached that to uh, a regular flatbed trailer that he's made. Uh, so I think I can make it with this scooter part right here because it's very light, this aluminum. Attach it to like a, a fork. And um, basically uh, it's gonna be uh, copying this design that they have for this this uh, 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 jogger. I'm gonna open this up and show you how they did it but uh, in a second. So right now what I wanna show you is that this dolly is 20 pounds. Whereas this jogger is 27 pounds, the way they built it. My dolly over there, is a, uh, for a four-wheel setup, is already 25 pounds, just that. That's only half of the, the thing, because it needs two trailers to uh, act as a, like a, a four-wheel setup. Kind of like, uh, almost like a wagon. But uh, uh, here's how I hitch this thing. This is my newest design. It's this, the scooter part, and um, let me get a light here. <clears throat> A scooter part and a, a stem cut in half. I have a video for this, how to make it. And I drilled a hole to put like a quick release. And so that's the scooter part, then another stem. So that's all in another video, the, the more details of this. This is just a, kind of like a mock-up, but uh, this, it, uh, this is a working setup right here. Um, so this is three different axis of, uh, three different dimension of uh, rotation here. And that's what, that's what you need. Um, over here is uh, different ways you can do it. I'm using a shock absorber for the, the roll. Uh, here a universal joint. So we'll get back to this in a second. Uh, if you want to uh, do a, like a, one of these. So uh, I would kind of like strip this down, try to remove some of this weight. But this is a kind of low, um, low uh, capacity because this is um, a kid's uh, jogger. So the front wheel they have is uh, like 12 inches. These back wheels are 16 inches, so that's not standard. I would rather go with uh, the 20 inch. So this is off like an actual real bike trailer and they have the quick release. So you just press the button, pull the wheel off. So um, I might uh, modify that first before I get into this one, but uh, I'm gonna show you how, how to uh, open this thing and uh, how to close it. So, so it, it, it unfolds and it locks into place and uh, now you have this front wheel. So that's what I want to try to make is a three wheel so there's no load on my bike. Um, so this wheel, as you can see, it's um, it's swiveled on an angle. Uh, that's why when, when it moves the other direction, it flips around. So when it goes forward, it's on an angle. So that's that's opposite of a, of a normal bike because the, a normal bike, the fork will go on an angle uh, forward, so, like the rake of it. So uh, th this, uh, uh, because if they did it the other way around, it could possibly start shaking uh, like a shopping cart. So, uh, uh, I don't know if this will work pulling with a, a bike. It should work. Uh, but uh, basically the way I would do this is um, attach. This thing weighs one pound, this uh, crutch. Uh, I would attach it kind of like a cargo bike life has. So he he's attached a... a um, like a pivot to his handlebar so that way this thing can pivot and then when you attach this thing to your uh, hitch setup um, what, what you would need to do is something a little different possibly than this is maybe like a, a universal because uh, you, uh, uh, you you'll want to put that around your seat somehow and uh, 
or like something like this with a shock absorber to give you the roll and then put your seat post through there cut this whole thing off uh, you can you can open like uh, op bend these open a little bit that's what I did on, on this one just just with my hands I just bent it open so it fits onto that that stem um, uh, so uh, these uh, crutches you can make your whole trailer out of this this is one pound uh, and, and if you want to reinforce it uh, use those pins that are already there and put maybe a, you can put a, another one over here or whatever but I don't think it's necessary this thing is very strong and then you have an adjustable length here also um, so for the bed of your trailer I, fo I found these things over here uh, these things uh, weigh um, eight, p 8 pounds each and I have no idea where these are from uh, if you guys know just make a comment because I tried to look on the internet I could not find this no matter how hard I searched so what it is is, is uh, 26 inches wide by 51 approximately uh, long and it's spring loaded these things are spring loaded this particular one they welded it at every point but on this one they they welded it um, over here but they they just wrap the the thing around over here but it's all these are both spring loaded and like I said they're both around eight pounds so that's a little heavy but it's quite light if, if you don't want to use something like that find yourself some kind of mesh maybe uh, for reinforcing concrete and then use use that as your base but this thing right here it's all smooth edges all around and it has these uh, kind of like uh, things at every four corners so this one here is all smooth this one they actually put uh, some kind of pin over here I, I have no idea what, what these things are like bed frames or what I, I couldn't find nothing on the on the Google searches so you can use these things if you want but like I said that's eight pounds um, so uh, also over here I have a, a thing of a trampoline you could use that as the bed of your trailer this will be uh, really light and very strong so if you have something like that uh, so if, if you want to uh, like fold this what you're doing is you're pulling this thing up and same as the other side and then it just folds uh, so uh, this 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 is kind of useful um, because of the weight uh, I mean uh, that it can fold and uh, uh, that it has three wheels so I don't know if this is gonna work for a, a, a bike trailer but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it possibly okay guys thanks for watching have a nice day